Hi everybody and welcome to the Flute Practice. My name is Tatiana and today we're going to talk a little bit about high notes. <laughs> So the first thing I want to kind of cover is what high notes are not. Um, I, I feel like very often there are misconceptions about what we should be doing, which lead to, you know, us doing exactly the wrong thing. That being said, I do want to say that, you know, there are lots of different theories about how to play high notes. Um, and perhaps it is one of those things that works, you know, differently for different people. I can totally acknowledge that. So I'm just going to give you my method, and if it works for you, fabulous. If it doesn't, sorry. One of the big kind of problems I encounter with people trying to you know, get their high notes going, whether it's the second or even third octave, is just thinking you got to like blow harder. You know, you really just got to like... The problem is you're going to get very overblown, very sharp, uh, usually quite kind of breathy, airy sound instead of that like nice beautiful controlled sound that we want which is more of a the other thing that is very often the case is very tight embouchure so you think okay going to the next octave gotta like ah i'm gonna make this happen once again you know you're gonna get a very sharp sound you're gonna get a very kind of thin kind of closed sound you're also going to, you know, get a bit of a kind of breathy, airy sound. Not what we want. The other thing that we tend to do uh, just generally when we're kind of thinking of getting into that high octave is we tend to close up. We tend to close our throat, close here, everything just kind of clamping down. And we get a sound that's once again... And in fact, we lose... Well, you know, I do anyway. You lose the control up there. You You, you start to like clamp down here usually in the throat and the scary thing about high notes is it's actually quite kind of counterintuitive to what you think it's about opening up and letting go rather than controlling and biting down and you know holding trying to make it happen for yourself so now i'm going to move on to what it is about so in my opinion there are three main kind of key elements to playing high notes the first is increased support, and this is not the same thing as blowing harder. So what you can do is uh, a little old trick that we've done several times uh, in different videos with our ha. Okay, so what you really want to do is want to get a good old ha feeling going. So we get our hands nasty on our stomach. Remember now, it's not about ha in, it's about ha out. You want to get that stomach nice and out. So what we want to do is we want to imagine on the lower octave we're getting like a you know medium loud ha so we're getting a ha sound and now on the top octave we want to get a much louder sound so we want ha sound now if you do this exercise you will immediately feel it's not about more air speed you're not like ha blowing your air out you know crazy person it's 100% about increased support over here. You feel how your stomach gets a little bit kind of like more tension, gets a little bit sort of firmer, and whew, you get more support there. That is what it's about. Okay, so the next thing that's really important for these high notes is your aperture. This little hole that we form when we are playing the flute. For the lower octaves, you want it to be slightly bigger so that you can really just allow that air to go nicely down into your flute. But as you get higher, this little aperture needs to get smaller. And the coolest way, I think, to experiment with this is to do it on our good old fashioned again. So in other words, we close our lips and we're just allowing the air to just separate those lips. So now please note this is not about tension here it's not about that kind of a thing it's just about having the lips closed and playing around with especially here these guys might always say our Donald Duck lips but playing around with just these little guys over here and over here right over there to 
to control that the size of that aperture. So we can do this on the flute as well. So so just letting the air separate those lips quite small. Often, not always, but often you already pop to the, to the second octave. It's actually that simple. The final component of high notes is to raise that airstream. So as we're blowing into the low octave, we're blowing much more down into the flute. But as we want to get up, we are going to raise that airstream slightly. And then for the high top octave, we want to raise it again. So we really need to have flexibility in our embouchure and in our jaw. We can't lock our jaws. We need to be able to shift here. Uh, so if you can see when I'm blowing down in the low octave, much more back with my jaw. And when I'm moving up, I bring my jaw forward and up. And there's a nice little exercise we can do just to practice this. What we're going to do, we're going to blow down to our chin and then up to our nose. And now we're going to try and roll the lips the whole way. So we want that airstream to really chick like this. And my eyes are like following the airstream but try it again and see if you can feel how almost here that's like these two little bits like kind of the lips bottom lip and top lip kind of almost rolling over each other like that so already almost sometimes I can imagine like there's little like wheels there that are like wheeling over each other but this is really that feeling of those two uh, that intersection of the lips and once again this here and there being really the important control points for the sound rather than here and here. It's a weird sort of a, it's not like tension here. It's, it's more just being aware of it already helps you get that sort of like sensation of what's going on there. If that makes any sense at all. So let's give that a try on the flute. So we start blowing down to our chin more or less. Until we get right up. No expectations here, my friends. This is just about experimenting. Really try it a few times and see if you can just really roll that airstream. Make that your primary goal, not getting a nice sound. I always say to my students and, you know, I tell myself sometimes too, but if you're practicing and sounding pretty the whole time, like, you, you know, like, it sounds so lovely, you're doing it wrong. Seriously. Like, you know, you are supposed to be experimenting, you're supposed to be testing your boundaries and your limits and, like, trying out new stuff and, you know, being a little bit crazy sometimes. And that often just means quite, like, ugly sounds coming out of your flute, and that's okay. Okay, so now we're going to put all of those three to kind of together. Uh, we're going to think about raising the airstream, we're going to think about supporting more, and we're going to think about this aperture being smaller. And uh, this is what it should kind of eventually be. So we're going to play a low A. And then jump up the octave. And you can see how my lips almost also move forward. I mean, my jaw is moving forward as well. But it's almost like from going to a, oh, I'm going to share my kissing lips again, but really it's a little bit just bringing those lips a bit more forward as well, which helps, instead of thinking tension. And in fact, you can play around with, I, I just did now, uh, playing around with increasing your support and almost having no tension here so just using your support to do that um, and then slowly adding a little bit more forward so then finding the spot so by bringing your jaw a little bit more forward by closing here finding that sweet spot where you get the sound really good now when we are getting to those really high notes essentially the principles are all the same okay it's exactly the same idea we are closing even more here we're bringing even more forward and we are supporting even more so I'm gonna do it on an F this time uh, so we're going to play low F and then we're going to play high F.
So once again, you can see there's not a huge amount of tension going on here. It's more about bringing it all forward. I'm going to show this to you from the side angle. Now there are some other things going on at the same time. Uh, one of the things is thinking about opening the throat, which we talked about earlier. Uh, a great way to kind of imagine this is almost like there's like a hot potato in the back of your throat. So that feeling or thinking of a whore or even just going back to the good old fashioned singing and playing and trying that just to release the throat. So we don't want to have a where I'm holding the throat closed, but rather an opening. A really cool way that I always like to think about these high notes is really to think about it like an opera singer. So, and you will see an opera singer won't go la, la, like that. They won't get tense. They won't close here. They rather, they almost go down into themselves and la, I'm, you know, officially probably losing my mind a little bit, but that's okay. Cool, everybody those are just a few little tips on how to kind of like approach those high notes start getting into them remember high notes should be about ease um, and not about tension and force so if you are using tension and force to get those high notes you really might want to kind of assess what it is you're doing you can ask me questions you can you know send me an email you can find me on Facebook Twitter and all those things and I will try and help every one of you as best as I can that's it from me today, everybody. Happy practicing and see you next time.